Do you, do you have a remote for this game? That you can turn it on and off remotely? Yeah, but I never use, use it. Hmm. Is it running? It's running. Okay. It's been recording this. Okay. You're too modern for remote controls. Bro, I don't know. You no. like the I just don't want to use the extra battery. Right. To, and then I don't want to... And then, of course, it's not going to last that long before the battery wears out or something. I, I don't need a remote. Once I... I need to be there when I turn it on, so I make sure everything is working, and and then uh, once and you can pause it. Once That's it's working, thing. it's fine. Yeah. Right. So you okay. Save tape. So we were talking. Yes. In the context of suffering, we were saying, we we were talking about that the possessive, about the possessive root. Uh huh. Of suffering. Is that what you wanted to go back to? Yeah. 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 And the only thing that it was not recorded that I believe, or one of the things that it was uh, the thing about the disattachment, uh -huh. as a register, uh -huh. that it's very similar to this possession or not mm -hmm. being so possessive. And uh, I don't remember all uh, the well, we talked, examples. Didn't we that, talk about identification? Right, exactly. And, right. and disidentification. Yeah. Right. As, as, as the second step, so the senses are what are what allow us to fuse and identify with things mm -hmm. through the senses. Right, and um, that was the introduction of the of the of the discipline steps. Yeah, into the process, and I also talked about sensation in the glossary. Yes. Remember that part? Yeah, um, but that was a different talk. Right. Well, That's the one that we that he recorded. But pre, yeah. prior to that, I think the only thing that I remember that we did not include later on was the thing, the register of being more disattached and uh, and the, the the register of not being so identified with what the, what was happening with the world. Mm? And I think that I made a comment that I, each day I care less about what's going yeah. on in the world because it really doesn't have anything to do with me or with my process or anything. Uh -huh. And it's a good feeling. Uh -huh. But of course, when it comes to the loved ones, it's an entirely different story. Mm -hmm. That's where the work is. You have to be able to also let go more and more. And didn't we bring ludism in at the, there we also? We probably did. And Yes, that it was an playful, attitude. right? That it was playful. Nature uh -huh. of it, you. I think you were talking about that, Kurt, weren't you? Well, it also came from Alan Watts. Uh huh. That, that we discussed CD. earlier. Yeah. 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 About the um, bursting bubbles, you know. Yes. That. Yes. Playful attitude. Bubble. Yeah, the playful attitude and not being serious. So how funny it is to have uh, all of this so well presented to us and then have Maureen be able to show me mm -hmm. how to do it in practice and because I can. I mean, I get so identified with situations that, you know, with her, you know, <laughs> that she walks away. She just right, walks right, away. That's right. You you said yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She leaves. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I have the data, <laughs> and she's the master. Yeah. That tells you something, right? It does. Right. <laughs> it tells me a lot. Right. A lot. Uh, so I have to study with her. That's it. What other choices do I have? Right. Right. It's good. Right. Good. Study with Maureen, and mm -hmm. then, because she's not used, she would never be used to me walking away from her. That would really be a weird one, you know. Right. Turning that tape, turning the table on the. Because the problem has always been Kurt acting out. Right. 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 Or l losing control, whatever it is. Start right. yelling. Start upset. Gets upset. Gets right. angry. 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 Lots of angry. Yes. 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 So, and Maureen, I don't think, gets angry. I don't think she ever does. Probably she doesn't. 
No, I don't think she does. I can't remember her getting angry. Period. But she said she used to get angry. When she was at, in her 30s and she was a feminist, she would corner guys who were mm -hmm. into their, their masculinity. Macho. Oh yeah, well I can see her getting right in. I mean, you can see it rise in her. If if you say the wrong thing, or yeah, I mean, remember I said Maureen stood behind you over there when I right when she yeah. said because I make I the have ma her natural a, comment as a co presence Calvinist. Not, yeah, yeah. That if I did that, I know it would. Oh, uh, oh, that's what yeah. you were talking right. about. Right. Yeah, I said that I could see Maureen stood yeah, behind you. I know uh -huh. that she's right there, standing behind you. Uh huh. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, so so I can I, can I have a great teacher. Yeah, but bottom line, I have a great. And one of the things that happened in the in the recent past was that um, I tried to tell Maureen how much I felt that she had um, a strong spirit. Uh, uh, how I thought that she had, how, I don't even know how to say it, and she was, she had an advanced spirit, uh, a developed spirit, uh, that she had, that you could tell that she had a, a road behind her, a, a long road, mm -hmm. and that, that she had evolved. She had evolved, mm -hmm. Gusto, right. And it's something that we never talk about. We never addressed. I never talked about it with her. And it was so interesting to bring it up. It was like, because it was startling for her to hear it from me. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, re very encouraging. Uh, very good for her, I think. Right. To hear it. Absolutely. I can imagine. And you know it's probably true, based on what I was reading. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> I know it's probably true. Not only. I mean, it's not. I wasn't no, pulling I her leg or shining her on or whatever yeah. they say. You know. Yeah. Maybe you're in the same situation. In a lot of ways, Janet is an advanced spirit. Yeah, she is. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got a lot more respect for her at the time that she, you know, was doing the discipline than anybody else. Me too. Because the way that she behaves. Yes, right, me too. Exactly, yeah. right. And, and I, it seems that there is a key of the whole thing. I mean, the behavior is the indicator of our advancement, you know. Because if I were so, be there's none. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can say, hey, I got nothing going. No, no. You're, no. you're incorrect. No. Because if I had a video camera, or I can go back into the past with you, uh -huh. you will not even recognize yourself. You think? Oh yeah. yeah. You have to, all the advancements are always in proportion to who you are, uh -huh. who you were. Yes. No, they're not in relationship with somebody else. No. Oh, that is the hardest oh. thing to, to write. Yeah, the whole yeah, we yeah. talk, like, right, stuck and with comparison. Right. I mean, and such yeah. a dead end, that is. Oh, mm -hmm. it's totally, completely, it's, 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 it's no, not good. Yeah, no good, nothing good about it. Because for at the same time that that person that we admire, let's take Janet, you know, we admire Janet, uh -huh. there is going to be things that Janet will have a really hard time and for us will be a piece of cake. Yeah, right. You know? I know. And yeah. there goes all the comparison yeah. <laughs> down the tubes. Right. So it's even that's what you're saying. It's almost like um it's not only it's not only comparing to other people, it's comparing against a hypothetical. This. Like a grid the, right, of some yes, kind. Exactly, yeah. Right? A standard. Yeah, yeah some whereas sort of I, standard. I think not good. Sometimes we talk about freedom, but I think it's, for me, what fits better is liberation. liberation. Exactly. Yeah. You liberate you go. yourself step by step. Uh huh. Take the things out of your body uh -huh. little by little. Yeah. Uh huh. 
You see, I have to read you this because it fits so well. This is what I was going to say. Yeah. You know, it, it, for some reason we end up exactly in the in the, in the same thing. So but, yes, <laughs> a perfect segue into this. Uh huh. This is this is 1972, and he was saying. Um, I imagine that you know all these problems. I imagine that you understand that consciousness of self is not, I mean, it's achieved in the measure that you go repeating the works, either through attentional division or auto-observation, and you, that you cannot obtain consciousness of self at once. Mm? I imagine that you understand or comprehend that consciousness of self goes consolidating in the measure that you do less effort in order to maintain it. I was remembering the, your talks about repetition. Yes, you, the, you. yes, yes, I was the one, yes. the guilty one of the re <laughs> re repetition. The necessity right. of repetition, I yeah. remember, or the, and the value of repetition. Right, that is odd. Yeah, right. Odd but, for you to say, right. and, in, and important but, for you to practice. Right. Exactly. When I do not do any effort in, to maintain the state of consciousness of self, then I can say I consolidated it. And here comes the, the second part that I think that is very good. But in the meantime, yeah, in the measure that I forget about it, I say that I do not master the level of consciousness in myself. On the other hand, how how do I know that I have that I have achieved this consciousness of myself? I have two or three ways to know. One is to consider the situations of greater alteration. For example, in the cases of violent I, I, I rate hate, yeah? Mm -hmm. the, a violent, furiously behavior, I have to observe if such state totally cover my consciousness and make it dependent, or if, in spite of that fury, I can still comprehend and see what is going on within myself. Mm -hmm. This is... Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I think you need to read it again for me. Okay. I have, it says, one is to consider the situation of greater alteration. For example, in the case of a violent fury, violent anger. Uh -huh. yeah? in, in, I should observe if that state, the violent anger, covers my consciousness and make it dependent yeah, of that state. Uh -huh. or in spite of the, the fury, I can still comprehend what is going on within me. I can still mm -hmm. have a distance. The, does the situation take you? Or, or, or it doesn't. Oh. Uh -huh. So if you're still there and know that you're fucking up, but you're still yeah. there... Y insisting there is, and going... Right. There's and, something but there's a little is, voice right. saying, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up? You know. Right. Yeah, right. How much longer? How yeah. do I get out of this thing that I've started? Yeah. So right. it's very interesting because it says, if I believe that I have consolidated this consciousness of myself, not even in the state of abrupt expressions of strong sentiments, not even in those states, the consciousness can be lost. Yeah. It's a very different thing. So it's yeah. In such a way that the more and the best reference that I have is to really call those extreme cases, emotional cases, and not the the daily ones in which I believe to be in in charge yeah. of myself. Uh huh. Yeah. So that I know. I mean, the rest is all things that we know it has. It goes into the diagrams of the centers, but I thought that 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 is a really interesting. Yes. Uh, because it's it's, a, it's an indicator that uh -huh. we can, you know, that we can know. It's like that's why I was, I was so taken that it was part of the things that we talked also with what happened with my daughter. Yes. You know, Pustamente, right. right. 
because I was there totally with in the situation really difficult but I was there I uh -huh. was not totally completely lost uh -huh. I was not and, and, and it was a thing that I never had before so I knew that I made a little advancement yeah you know? right and I had to value it I, I, I felt actually I think internally because I was able to be there for her uh -huh. so and it, and um, because I, you know how it is we go doubting I doubt myself like at least three times a day yes you know? so, right <laughs> so when I found when I see a register or an indicator that is in progress I kind of have is that overlap because I want to overlap it is is it okay because I'm out of it and in something. I'll catch up. Yeah. So I want to stop using the table as a, as a, a table. As a table. So move your stuff over to the floors or the sideboards or wherever. So is this little thing here the same thing That's that you have song. covered? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's without I, the cover. I like it without the cover. Yeah, I do too. And I, I, the cover made me not know the batteries died. So that's why I took the cover off. Mm. All hi, right. Hi, microphone. Yeah. How is your life? How do you experience the passage of time? No, okay, Ken, no so answer. maybe you could fill us in a little bit. How We're only half th halfway down the page, right? Yeah. Yes. So why don't we start at the top of the page? Right at the top again? Yeah. All right. Commentary on time, determination, and hazard. Pure time is hazard. When in chain, the spiral, mineral, animal, human, and superhuman starts. For there, for there, time is liberated again. Also, time leaps towards liberty in the inverse process. In this way, the teaching fell from above and the superhuman was enchained to the rock. Light float on it. Yeah, I like this kind because, of uh, even even in the music I'm, thing, I'm using you a very big one. to the revelation. It's not probably good for this. We yeah. meditate and come with us. Yeah. So, so the final if thing, none of this can be taken out. So you know what we arrived to? It's exactly as it originally was. Yes, so it is exactly. We have not changed anything. <laughs> no, this is the beauty. That's why it's good to talk about it. when we met, more or less, at that time in 1973, that uh, eventually, you know, some material was going to be produced that it would, you know, enlighten us all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and in the meantime, while I was divigating about all those things, Negro wrote like 10 books, you know. <laughs> and I didn't get enlightened at all. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wrote a story that it was in Spanish, I think, and then I published a book with that name, Invisible but Certain, that is 12 short stories. Did I show you Yes, that? you showed, okay. you sent it well, to me and I only read the one about Rick. Oh yeah, that's a short one, the shortest. Yeah, the shortest, right. right. Good, you picked the right one, that's <laughs> the shortest, shortest. There is one that is really long. 
tedious. Anyway, but this this one I like it a lot because it's a guy who who invent a way to go back to the past, mm -hmm. and uh, he realized that that uh, his obsession was to disprove that Jesus ever existed, to mm. really show the people that science was all that mattered and that there was no such a thing as Jesus. And yes, he, he finds out that there's no, not really anything substantial about Jesus. Uh -huh. But the worst thing is that in the, in the past, in traveling to the past, he realized that he could not change anything. There was n not, nothing that he could change. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he did it over and over again. He, try to deviate the bullet that got into John Kennedy's head, but he couldn't. So he couldn't alter it. So he comes back to the, to the present with it, this big depression. And then he decides, well, you know, whatever. He's, he's going to go back to, he's going to go into the future instead. You, I never show you that one. Oh, I'm going to see if I have it translated, because it's, it's a funny one. And then he found that when he finally gets into the future, it's, it's white and there is nothing on it. There is no future. Oh. It's, it's empty. It's, it's uncharted. Un yeah. It's no. You know? Yeah. And then when he's right there in the middle of this white light illuminating everything, but there was nothing, no object, he heard a voice saying, I am the light and the spirit and I don't know what else that is a Jesus Christ <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. I am the way the truth and the life right exactly yes yeah. so the guy has to figure out oh oh, oh, oh. oh I see I, I have to reconsider everything now yeah. <laughs> but the, 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 what I was trying to, to really say is that there are so many interpretations about the spiritual world you know? that whatever whatever is in the sacred books all of them are really good yeah. they are, they're all they all have some truth about it yeah. <coughs> pain registered through the pathway of sensation will begin to be registered when the stimulus passes the limits of tolerance of the sense that is perceiving it. See amnesia, see impulses, translation of. Now, pain characteristic time of. The characteristic time of pain is the instant because the structure perceiving the painful stimulus reacts by immediately launching a response to modify the painful stimulus as quickly as possible. <coughs> and prevent the increase in tension. If the stimuli are pleasurable, the opposite takes place and the structural response tends to prolong the stimulus. Right. Yeah. Well, what do you see fantastic. that as? If the stimuli are pleasurable. Right. So you want to keep it. The other one you want to run away. So watching a movie or shopping or is to keep it. Yeah, is a way of overcoming the right. It's pleasurable. Yeah, you're getting a new sensation in mm -hmm. place. Then pain pathways off. Pain arises through the pathways of sensation, imagination. And memory. These, there are sensations that are illusory, images that are illusory, and memories that are illusory. These are the illusory pathways of suffering. See sensation, see image, see memory, see illusion. Just as we recognize the role these pathways play in generating suffering, we also recognize that these same three illusory pathways are involved in every operation of the mind including the formation of the eye so the eye is illusory there are real it is. 
Yeah. There are real registers for the consciousness of this illusion produced suffering and the techniques of transference yield their best results in overcoming such suffering. So we got to invite that guy to think about working with transference, perhaps. Absolutely. Because that's going to be his only way out, I think. It is a very good way out. Or at least it's a good way to structure yeah. the entire thing. Right? I wonder if he knows about that. Maybe not. But, uh, so, what does this say to all of us about the importance of transference? And they are huge. And better if, if, if it becomes an empirical, you see. Yeah. I mean, like we, if we can, imagine that we can transfer on a daily basis. Yeah, because I think, wasn't it stated that actually the discipline is a self-transference. That's right. It's a process of, and that was the goal of becoming a master. I, I, don't you think one of the real goals of becoming a master was to be able to do perpetual self-transference? It makes sense. I don't know, but it so that you can con always be mm -hmm. liberating yourself from the possession, the pain, the suffering. Mm -hmm. the this is what I was trying to say, Kurt, when. I talked about my sincerity talk with myself. Uh -huh. It was to sincerely say to myself, you're not doing this. This is what you wanted to do. Yeah. Or what you should I, do. I, this is what I said I wanted to learn about and do. But in reality, I'm not fucking doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going that other way. I'm glad, I'm glad or you... Or you can also follow his scheme that it's not that you're completely not doing it it's like it goes like this you know mm -hmm. so you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna be a cycle you're gonna be right but the idea what I am interpret from what Kurt is saying that is not that you repeat the whole thing and then you're you know in a cage is that this thing goes amplifying gets oh like the growing right. circle. It, it, it grows yeah. so so you have a lot you see, I, at least I recognize that I, in my life, that, that since we started with the leveling from that process on, that I have a, I have cycles, I have all the same things, but they're not the same. Yeah. They're, they're getting better. They're getting, yeah. they're, I am getting a lot more understanding and more, you know, clarity about myself and, and about liberated. a lot of things, you know more liberated from more, right. the oppressive nature. Of right. So, do you feel like that, Kurt? Uh, 